In this Magic Legends video, we're going to be covering all the green spells or green cards in Magic Legends, creatures, enchantments, sorceries, etc. So let's get into the sorceries first. Bloom of Life is the first sorcery, and it might just be the strongest heal in the game. It allows you to channel it by holding the spellcasting button down, healing you for each mana you spend. You can press it once to just get a quick heal, or you can hold it down and get a mega heal. I've seen heals over 10,000 with this. It's pretty damn strong. Fog is the next sorcery and it's really cheap at one mana. It's great for throwing in areas where your creatures are getting destroyed or you're getting overwhelmed, allowing you to heal up uh, while you're not taking any damage and then sort of get back into the fray. Giant Growth is a sorcery that allows you to add plus three plus three to the creature with the highest combined power and toughness for eight seconds. This is going to make the creature way bigger and it's going to increase its damage and its health. And it's always going to target the creature that has the highest combined power and toughness. So this should be your strongest creature. Hunt for the Apex allows you to have the highest power creature you control deal 200% of its damage and taunt all nearby foes. So it's going to deal damage in any way, taunt nearby foes to attack it. And if you control no creatures, instead you're going to target a creature, uh, an enemy creature, and then it's going to deal an AoE damage to all creatures near it. Rampant Growth simply allows you to spend two mana in order to gain faster mana regeneration. In my testing, this didn't seem like it was super fast, so I don't know if this is going to be worth it. We'll see how this goes. Elven Assailment is one of the few green AoE damaging spells, and it's going to deal damage over time for 5 seconds in a rather large AoE and slow movement inside of it. Gift of Reincarnation is a great spell that allows you to give the lowest health creature you control regenerate, which means if it dies it comes back to life with full health for 8 seconds. So typically you're going to want to use this when one of your strong creatures is about to die, and maybe if it's a creature that's getting wailed on really heavily, maybe it'll proc it twice. Amalgamate is a fantastic spell that gives you a damage shield equal to 20% of your maximum health for 8 seconds, plus an additional 3% per each point of toughness of your highest toughness creature up to a maximum total of 50%. That means you can get almost a 50% shield or up to a 50% shield if you play this right and you have a big creature out. Nourish is basically a quick spot heal that heals you and allies in an area over time for 5 seconds. It's not the strongest heal in the game, but it'll do the job in a pinch. Invigorating Boon allows you to heal your strongest creature and give it plus zero plus three for 10 seconds, as well as make it taunt nearby enemies for 10 seconds. So this is going to lure all enemies towards it, which is great. If you don't have a creature when this is used, then you're going to gain lesser resistance, which is going to reduce the damage you take. Animalistic Fury for eight seconds gives you lesser swiftness, which increases your movement speed and your secondary and utility abilities charge twice as fast. This means your W key or whatever is going to uh, charge faster, which is fantastic. And additionally, your primary ability is going to deal 50% more damage, so your, you know, your default attack is going to be more powerful. Cloak of Seeds is a fantastic way to get a bunch of 1-1 Sapperling tokens. For 8 seconds, you're going to cast it on your highest toughness creature, and whenever that creature is damaged, it's going to spawn a 1-1 Sapperling token for 30 seconds up to a maximum of 5. This works really well on creatures that have a taunt, or creatures you just used a spell and to give taunt, because then they are definitely ensured to get attacked. Refreshing Glade is a fantastic AoE heal over time in an AoE targeted area. This is great for when you're like got a whole bunch of creatures out and there's like a big mayhem going on. You throw it down right in the middle of the mix and it just heals everything over time as it takes damage. Mighty Bellow gives plus six plus six divided evenly among up to three creatures you control. So this is going to make them bigger, deal more damage and have more health. You don't have to throw it on three creatures. You can throw it on one or two or whatever, but it's going to divide it evenly. And up to three creatures are going to get, you know, bigger, stronger, faster, etc. Stampede again is another one of a few damaging spells that's in the green spell list. It basically does a line attack in front of you for a bunch of damage over 5 seconds, and it's really good. It's a damage over time ability, and it's pretty wide, so it can hit a lot of creatures at once. Choking Overgrowth is a fantastic AoE dot that basically roots enemies inside it and deals damage to them over 5 seconds. So if you really want to play a control wizard or a wizard that's like controlling the battlefield, this is a great spell. Would work good in like a green-blue deck, for instance. Rampage is another spell that does damage to enemies in a line all at once, not over time, and it deals 100% additional damage if the total power and toughness of all creatures you control is equal to 25 or better. So if you have a lot of creatures out or a few strong creatures out, this spell is going to hit much, much harder. Moving on to the green creatures, the first one is Moreland Ranger, and what's great about this creature is that it's a 2-2 for 2 mana, but if you kick it, which means if you spend the extra 3 mana cost there and basically spend 5 mana, it gets plus 2, plus 2, trample, and it transforms. Um, it has a special ability that it does in normal form uh, to foes in a cone, but if it's transformed, it can charge to a foe and then deal damage to foes in front of it instead. So basically, you have the option to make a weaker creature or a stronger one if you have the extra mana. Spider Silk Fletcher is a 2-1 creature for 2 mana, which isn't the greatest, but it is ranged, it does damage from range, and it makes it so whenever an archer you control deals damage to a foe, they have greater snare applied to them, so it reduces their movement speed. There are a couple archers in the black cards, for instance and there are other Elvish Archers, so if you combine them together, this might be a good choice. 
Elvish Rejuvenator is a 1-1 creature for 2 green mana, and it is again an archer just like the last one. Um, but its special ability is it creates a mana orb for you periodically. So every about 10 seconds or so it's going to create a mana orb for you, which helps to keep your mana up so you can keep casting spells. Sapperling Swarm summons 3 1-1 one, one Sapperlings, which is fantastic. And if you use the extra mana, which is 2, so you spend 4 mana total, you'll actually summon 5 instead of 3. Um, what's really good about this is this gives you 5 creatures like really, really quickly. Wolfpack is another fantastic spell. It costs 2 mana and XX, meaning that if you just press it, it's going to cost you 4 mana and summon a wolf. But if you hold it down and use a bunch of mana or however much mana you want to use, you're going to get an extra wolf for every 2 extra mana you summon or use. So this could be potentially up to like 5 wolves. Elven Ambusher is a 2-2 creature for 3 mana, and its special ability is it destroys a random nearby standard or weaker foe. So it's not going to kill a champion or an elite foe, but it'll get rid of a random one or a weaker one uh, every 10 seconds or so, just automatically one-shot, which is fantastic. And that's in between its regular attacks. Sporecap Spider is a 2-4 creature for 3 mana, and its special ability is to deal damage over 3 seconds and stun a target. So... It's kind of like, I think it shoots its web out and it damages the target and stuns it in place. Frenzy Howl Werewolf is a 2-2 creature for 3 mana, but what's really great about it is it has the active ability of allowing it to transform for 2 colorless and 1 green mana, which means that if you draw this card again while the creature's on the battlefield, instead of summoning it, you're going to give the one that's already there greater haste, greater swiftness for 10 seconds, and also while it's transformed, it's going to gain plus 1, plus 1. So it's going to be stronger, faster, and hit harder for a very brief period of time even though it will have plus one, plus one the whole time. Verlin Ooze is an okay creature. I expect it to play more of a role as more and more Ooze creatures make it into the game. Um, but it, for a 2-2 creature for three mana, it's all right. It retaliates its you know damage taken back as its power, so that's fantastic. But considering that you, you know, you're only going to have one of these in your deck, it doesn't do a whole lot on its own. Guardian Spirit is a fantastic spell. For four mana, you get a 2-2 creature that buffs all your other creatures for plus zero, plus two. This is going to increase their health and size. One really interesting thing I noticed while using this is that even after this wears off, the health of the creature doesn't like go back to where it was. It basically gives it kind of like a heal once its health drops back down, which is great. And also once it dies, it gives creatures you control plus two plus zero for 10 seconds. So it's going to give you something in when it gets summoned and when it leaves the battlefield. Nima Silt Lurker is a fantastic creature. It's a 3-5 for 5 mana. It is very, very durable. It doesn't die very easily. And it's one of the few creatures in the game that will actually taunt nearby enemies. Um, and it also applies lesser weakness and deals damage to them at the same time. So it's going to make them deal less damage, they're going to take damage, and it's going to focus on him, allowing you to take out the creatures without, you know, getting hit. Spider Nest might be my favorite creature in the beta so far, uh, or at least in green. It essentially throws a nest down on the ground that doesn't do any damage, it never moves, it has health, but every two seconds it summons a 1-2 spider creature token that lasts for 30 seconds, and they just keep coming. I mean, as long as you keep this thing alive, it's just going to keep cranking out spiders over and over and over. And one really weird thing that I haven't tested is there's some places in the game where enemies just constantly like spawn and run through and spawn and run through like, like there's an area where they spawn in. If you set this up with the right setup, I think you could literally go AFK and just keep killing them, gaining experience, gaining drops and not even have to. I, you could AFK farm essentially with this, I believe. I expect it to get patched to, you know, last maybe a minute or two instead, but we'll see. Broodwidow is a fantastic creature for 8 mana. It's a 5-5, five, five, which makes it very, very tough. Um, and it hits very hard, I've noticed, out of a lot of the creatures. It seems to hit very hard, and it hits at range. It has a special ability where it summons 3-1-2 spider creature tokens for 30 seconds. I have never seen it use this. I think this is probably needs to be fixed and patched. I'm sure that'll happen eventually. So once that happens, that's going to be really strong, because that's basically going to give you a portable you know, spider nest everywhere you go. Enormous Bayloth is a 10 mana creature, and it's a 6-6 six, six with Trample, meaning its basic attacks at multiple targets. And when you summon it, it's going to deal damage and knock down foes, so you want to wait to summon this one until you can, like, throw it down into a group of enemies. It doesn't deal a ton of damage, but it will, you know, shake things up a bit. Greed and Warden is a 12 mana creature, meaning you have to have full mana in order to cast this. It has insane amounts of health, um, and it gives all Sapperlings plus one, plus one. So if you have you know, any of those abilities that summon sapperlings is going to make them a lot stronger, especially when, you know, there's one ability that you can, or a spell that you can throw on him that basically makes it so when he takes damage, it summons sapperlings, and then these get buffed, which is fantastic. There's great synergy there. And it also has the activated ability of allowing you to create three 1-1 one, one sapperling tokens. So if you draw this creature while you already have it on the battlefield, you'll be able to create some instantly, which is fantastic. Moving on to the green enchantments. Enchantments and Magic Legends usually last for 30 seconds. I've seen one that was longer but all the rest of them last for 30 seconds. And they sort of act like a sorcery just with a longer duration. 
though they are not considered a sorcery. The first enchantment is Cultivator's Bounty, and for 30 seconds, whenever you cast a creature spell that costs 5 mana or more, you gain 1 mana. This is a great way to, if you stack your deck full of high cost, you know, mana creatures or high mana cost creatures, this is a great way to keep maintaining them, because it's going to basically give you 1 mana back every time you cast one. Essence Bond is a great way to reciprocate healing that you receive to your strongest creature, so if you have some, like, you know, big creature out, which Green has up, and you want to help keep it alive every time you heal, uh, this way it's going to not only heal whatever heals you, it also heals that creature, but a lot of times you have, like, AoE heals that heal you and the creature, well then it's going to heal you and the creature and the creature again. Rebirth is probably one of the best, if not the best, enchantments in Magic Legends. Essentially what it allows you to do for 30 seconds is whenever a creature you control dies, you pay 3 mana, this is, or green mana, this is done instantly and for you, if you have the mana there, by the way, and it will regenerate a creature that dies. This brings it back to life with full health. This only lasts 30 seconds, which is unfortunate, because if it lasts indefinitely, you would, you would never lose your creatures. It's almost impossible, unless you have really, really weak creatures, to lose your creatures and not have enough mana to pay their generation cost if you're playing, you know, modestly well. Show of Dominance is a great enchantment, because there are not a lot of damaging spells in green, and what it allows you to do is deal damage by casting creatures. Whenever you cast a creature, the highest power creature you control is going to deal 200% of its damage to the strongest nearby foe. This usually isn't a ton of damage, mind you. Creatures don't do a ton of damage compared to spells, but it's still great in a color where you're going to be summoning a lot of creatures regularly. Those are all the green spells for Magic Legends, and be sure to check out our other videos on the blue, red, white, and black spells as well. And be sure to check out the wiki if you have questions about the game. We're getting all this information to it as quickly as we can. So if you have questions or specific information you're looking for, be sure to check there. Peace.